In the previous video, Irfan and his team had released white-breasted water hen. However, at that time, the white-breasted water hen was released along with the common moorhen. Irfan and his team not only cast one or two common moorhens but six at a time. Let's see together the moment of their release. It's the aviary! This is white-breasted water hen and also a common moorhen. They are both types of bottom birds. Come on, let's just let them go. Here, here, here. We'll take them out one by one. They came right out. Oh. Nah. Well, that's the last one. Common Morhen, Galenula chloropus. Common Morhen has the Latin name Galenula chloropus. They are also called swamp chickens because they resemble chickens. Their bodies are the same size as chickens. They have all black feathers except on both sides of the wings decorated with white stripes and the underside of the tail or buttons with white spots. Their beak is red with a yellow tip. The red shield is their main characteristic. However, the red shield is not found in immature birds. These birds are scattered globally in many continents and countries, from Europe and Africa to Asia including Indonesia. One thing is for sure, they will not be found at the poles. There are five common moorhen subspecies in total. So, the common moorhen in Indonesia differs from the common moorhen in Madagascar or India. However, the difference is subtle and even difficult to identify. Apart from that, we can find common moorhen in lakes, ponds, rice fields, canals, swamps, reservoirs, or rivers with calm currents. They like to live in damp areas, especially if the water is surrounded by bushes, forests, or tall trees. As birds that live around water, they can run on water and swim. Young common moorhens can even swim not long after they are born. They swim not only when they are looking for food but also when running away from threats from other animals. They also rarely dive, but the case is different if eagles hunt them. In such a situation, they would attack. Alternatively, they must swim as fast as possible to safety. They will also make a hissing sound when they feel in danger. Not only able to swim, but these birds can also climb bushes and trees. They often perched on top of a tall tree, perched brooding or occasionally brushing their fur, or ate the fruit on the tree. They like to eat seeds, insects, worms, spiders, fly larvae, butterflies, water snails, tadpoles, and small fish. If they have a routine, they will come out of their hiding in the morning and evening. Then they move into open areas, wade through the water, or walk down the side of the water and peck at their prey. Common moorhen likes to live in groups. A flock of common moorhens can even consist of 30 individuals. Usually, they won't mind coexisting with other birds, such as the white-breasted water hen. However, they will transform into territorial birds when they enter the breeding season. They will not hesitate to challenge each other or even a duck to fight for territory. Once breeding, the common moorhen female will produce four to ten pale yellow eggs with brown spots. The eggs are placed on a nest shaped like a basket made of grass. Usually, they nest among the lush vegetation. If left, the nest will be reused by the common moorhen that found it. The eggs in the nest will then be incubated alternately, namely by the female parent during the day and the male parent at nightfall. After about three weeks, the eggs will hatch, and both parents again play a role in feeding their young. Funnily enough, common moorhen children will take refuge in their parents' arms whenever they feel threatened. The mothers will then fly to take their young to a safe place. Three weeks after birth, the common moorhen children can find their food without the help of their parents. 
After 40 to 50 days have passed, they will grow up and learn to fly. Although they are independent and can fly, they will remain with their mother for several weeks afterward. Then what about the voice of Common Morhen? Let's hear it together. This time we leave the assessment to you. What do you think of their sound? How do you feel after hearing it? The total number of common moorhens in the world is arguably still vast. In some regions or countries, their numbers are stagnant, while their numbers decrease in other areas. However, their population is still relatively safe. Just like the white-breasted water hen, the common moorhen is sometimes the victim of capture and hunting. Hopefully, this video can be helpful for you. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. See you in the next episode.